day I woke up and I was like, can you f fix your s***? And people started listening, you know? Yes. And I, I became that person that if you say, don't do this, that's what, exactly what I'm going to do. So if you want me to do, some, to do don't something, say tell it, me not that. to do it. Yeah, then you do it. Then I will do it. You know? so, At what point did you decide? I am an half of the industry can't sing. At what point did you decide that? Um, at a point, okay. <laughs> oh, something is coming. She, yeah, she's no. Got that look. Um, so what happened was, Kaya Teta, that's where it began. Um, but um, he won idol, see. So we have, to, I mean, there's his you, voice. But so you can't say he can't, can't sing. He can't, he can't. There's no way you can. The fact that you don't like his. Kaya cannot sing. Huh? Do you have a lot of artists coming to you and say, we're struggling with this? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yes. So they just hate you on social media, but behind oh, yes. closed doors, they, they talk to you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. In, what was more important for me was to teach the industry on how to turn your talent into business. Because most artists were just, you know, going on stage, I have, I have a voice, but then they don't get paid. They don't know what their rates are. They don't know that uh, how mm -hmm. to register their company, uh, their their brand as a as, as a company mm -hmm. and you know um complying with uh, with with sars with the all, the, text yeah, all the requirements yeah, mm -hmm. yeah yeah well ladies and gentlemen we are back again after a, what three three week break so we've been on the, on recess for three three weeks we had uh, complications here and there but hey i'm glad we're back here today. We've got a very, very interesting person in the studio. Very I'm actually, interesting. I'm actually excited about this one. Eh? I'm actually excited. But before we go there, please tell your friends, tell your cousins that Brato is here uh, 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 hosting the GRP podcast. Remember to follow it on Instagram, follow it on uh, YouTube and, and Facebook. We're also on TikTok. So we need to put more content there. I saw things are happening that side. But but please make sure that you follow us. And don't forget, don't forget CDs. Um, the, the inboxes are very slow on CDs, but we're getting CDs every, every week we get two. So before we run out, just make sure that you DM me so we can ensure that you are part of the family. So ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited about today's guest. Uh, as, as we're doing the research, we were asking ourselves, oh my goodness, what do we ask? <laughs> what do we ask? Her? And after you see who we're talking about, you will realize this is not an easy one. Uh, my next, our next guest is uh, Miss, do we say Miss? It's just Gaddafi. Oh, Gaddafi, Gaddafi, Manafi. Her name is so good, you have to say it twice. <laughs> she's with us in the studio. She's going to tell us her journey. Tell us where she's from. <laughs> Get to know more about her. But we were warned by her team that we can't piss her off. You know what happens when you piss God damn. <laughs> My sister, how are you? I'm good, how are you? You well? Yes, I'm well, thanks. <laughs> thank you for having me. And no, uh, thank you for agreeing. Yes, thanks for the invitation. Yeah. And I hope it's going to be good. It must be good. Yes. It must be good. My brother. Brother. Hey. I'm a brother. brother. Yeah, hey, hey, I'm not brother. <laughs> Boss, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we, we got a hold of her eventually, you know. This is long overdue. Long I've been looking. Are you nervous? Why are you singing your chair? It's My chair is always swinging. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and uh, I remember the first time I spoke to, to, to Gaddafi and I said, I want to interview her. No, when I, when I, when I brought you, you want to censor me? I said, no, 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 no. Coming. No one will be censored. <laughs> no one will be censored. No one will be censored. Yeah, you, you say it the, the way it is, isn't it? But before we go far, I want yeah. as, as a second female to the, to the, to the show, we're going to twist things a bit, isn't it? Okay. You've got, she has a lot to say about females. Uh, not females, artists. She's got a lot to say about gospel artists in particular. So I want to see how well you know gospel artists. Or you're just shooting blanks. <laughs> so we want to know. So we, can we start off with a game? You have a game, okay. Yes, we've got a game. Mm. When I don't watch the, the, the podcast, we're all fine now. We've got, a, we've got a game for you. Simple. The game is simple. How well do you know your South African gospel artists? Okay. You can't talk about people you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so the game is simple. How well do you know your South African gospel artists? Mm -hmm. uh, simple, it's a simple scenario. We're going to have a church service. I'm going to give you a category. 
say, okay, who is best to lead to this kind of song? Then mm. we okay. Mm. This style. Simple rules. You can only, you can't select yourself when. Eh, no, she sings. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you she can, should be. She should be able to select, select yourself, yourself once. Mm. Ne? You can't duplicate. So, Pablo no cannot. <laughs> you cannot sing all the songs. Uh, you can only select one international artist. Uh -huh. You have to have a female artist. We need an African artist, mm -hmm. well, upper Africa. And you've got five minutes, five seconds. Five seconds. To, to, to choose. It must be spontaneous. Yeah. Ne? So, are you ready? Yeah, sure. So, I'm going to take you through Let's the. Let's do it. I'm going to take you through the first half, and then Kay will, uh, Kay will take you through the rest. Ne? Okay. So. Um, we have, uh, mm -hmm. you want somebody to sing a song that will make people feel welcome. Hey. Nice one. And nice then you one. want somebody to sing a song that will make everyone sing along. Sing along, okay. Yeah. You know those soulful mid-tempo songs, you don't really dance, for, you can't even sit down and listen to it. Who can who can execute such a such a such a song? Um, Spuno. Spuno. All right, and then Sako Shakila Rule. High tempo song. Um, I'd say Kayam Ted. Kayam Ted. Kayam Ted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. I review that one. Yeah, I know. Are you sticking to that? <laughs> okay, and then it's an it's offering time. Yeah. You want somebody to sing and people must bring their money there. Who do you think can do that for you? Uh, I'd say Ayanda Shange. Ayanda Shange, Yeah. And the last one for me is, you know this new Afro-rock uh, uh, wave, you know? People will worship, they do that kind, of, that kind of sound. Who can execute that for you 100%? Uh, Daki. Daki Ndo? Daki Ndo. Hey! I was big. I was big. And um, the next one, traditional worship, who, who comes to mind? Like Rubu Akadi Fila, like, like who's... I would say Mabaga Zimsumi. I think she came prepared. <laughs> I think she, <laughs> she, I think she, she has a list somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and then if, if you were to get three backing vocalists, so they're doing a cappella, who would you have on soprano, alto, and tenor? Uh, soprano of heavens are mine. Mklong, I think Mklong is her singing. Tenor, of course, is gonna be Kananelo Liu, and then for alto, I'd say, uh, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Uh, the lady who sings Agu Ko Okungenzi Buye. It was featured on Dress Celebration. Oh yes, yes, I remember. What's her name? Okay, <laughs> for alto, 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 alto. I'll choose Duduma Kova. She's she has okay. a beauty. Yeah, she's All a right. beautiful alto. Okay. And then for contemporary worship, you know, so we're moving from traditional, and Rukopana Mohar, you know, who's 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 the ideal person. Ish, I am the. Ah, you've already mentioned it. Did it didn't you mention it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was Shang. Oh, Shang. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. And uh, in terms of a new composition, so is there, there's a new song that needs to be taught to the congregation. Who would be the right person to do that? Teaching, teaching a song. Yeah. So you need... Execute a new composition. Yeah, like you Home have to teach them on, there. you know... Just get on stage and... Yeah, and, and so that people can catch it there and there. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Come on now. I don't want to say Dr. D. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear him coming. No, I think because he, he sings simple songs. So, you know. And the last one is a goodbye song. So you want people to come back next week. A good what? Goodbye song. Oh. I'd say Bussi Hadir. 
Where does it come from? Where does it come from? I was watching, it was years ago, I was already in the entertainment industry, you know, I was um, a booking agent and, you know, I was more in the corporate, mm -hmm. honestly, and um, when I, when I got into the industry, it's because I, I'm from the corporate world, when I came into the industry, it was through Obra Jerome Booking, and we met at the Global Business Roundtable where we are talking about business. So when I met him, he, he was like, what, are, what, what do you do? And we started having that engagement. And it's like, I'm doing this production, please come on, uh, on board. But then when I got into the industry, I realized that a lot of people don't know much about the industry or yeah, how to yeah. run the business. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was so frustrating because first to start with a contract. For me, if we don't have a contract, there's no business. But I realized that most of them are signing contracts without understanding what, what, is, what, what does yeah, the contract yeah, yeah. Uh, contain. Mm -hmm. And then when you start making payments, they're like, no, but I'm supposed to be, I'm like, we're like, but you signed. You know, this is what you said. about the name. Yeah? We're still talking yeah, about, about oh, the okay. name. <laughs> so how Gaddafi came about? Because I get I'm giving you the Oh, background. context. How context, yeah, about. yeah. And then I realized that there's a lot of mess. People are crying of exploitation. I didn't get paid or record label and don't do any. And I realized that the bottom, the bottom line is that people, the people are in the business, but they don't understand the business. Mm -hmm. How do we fix the business, the, the industry? And I, I started addressing musicians, can you kindly fix one, two, three? And nobody was listening to me. So one day I woke up and I was like, can you fix your <laughs> And people started listening, you know? <laughs> and when that happened, during that period, I was watching document, a lot of doc documentaries. Yeah. And on SABC2, they were playing um, a doc documentary, Gaddafi Mouma, oh, the former yes, yes, yes. Libya uh, President, yeah. late you know, mm -hmm. um, a president, and I, for me, he, uh, his values, I could relate so much to what he was all about. Okay, okay. And, and people thought he was a bad person, but how he approached things, it was unpopular, mm -hmm. but he made a difference, mm -hmm. because some of the, the, the well doctors globally are from mm -hmm. Libya, you know, and and for me, it was like he did things unpo in, in an unpo unpopular way, mm -hmm. but then the results were there. Were they? So and that's why uh, Gaddafi. Picked up the so, name. but why is it Gaddafi? Gaddafi. Um, because Facebook. Is it twice the impact? Or, no, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Facebook wanted a name and surname. So I couldn't just say Gaddafi and Libby Bay. Oh, so, yeah. I, and for me, it was like I, I don't have a you know, a second name, so I might just put it as Gaddafi, Gaddafi. Yes, but how my nephew came about, my niece, every time <laughs> she comes back, because she was a fan of Gaddafi, mm -hmm. and when, every time she comes back from school, she'll be on some, Gaddafi, Gaddafi, my nephew. Oh, so it, so it rhymed, oh. you know? So for her, it was like, kind of a musical thing, so I was like, ah, let me just put it there. So ah, that's how Gaddafi, Gaddafi, my nephew came about. <laughs> yeah. So now you know, ne? So I think it, your explanation now ties nicely into, to, I think, how I've experienced you as a person. Eh? Yeah. Today, she'll, she'll write nice things. Eh? She'll write a nice paper. <laughs> eh? there's, there's good, I've got one here. Eh? Uh, let's see God. Let's see <laughs> <laughs> Next one. <laughs> next next, thing next has, one. Yeah. E Papa must, uh, must be sexually. Uh, attractive, <laughs> <laughs> but not look like a hippopotamus. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> East and West. <laughs> <laughs> and then, hey, Gaddafi. But anyway, uh, let's take let's take it from. from mm. Where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in Limpopo. I was born in in Joburg, but I was raised in Limpopo until my matric. Until matric. Yeah. I went to ZCC. Hey, bro, I was, so was uh, initi initiated there. No, I'm not. I'm not. Um, background, I was born a Kukrikenya Mudisi, IPHC. Okay. And, um, you know, it, it's a very strict church. Yep, yep. And I, 
it was too strict, man. I, I, and for me, as I, I became that person that if you say don't do this, that's what exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> so if you want me to do some, to do don't something, say tell it, me not to do it. Yeah, then you do it. Then I will do it. <laughs> you know? So um, my parents, I think they realized we are dealing with a problem here. Mm. So they took me to ZCC with the hope that I it will straighten me. You know, okay. so going to church, I'll be in line and then going to school during the week i'll mm. still be in line mm -hmm. and uh, yeah it, it became how did it end did you last i didn't i was <laughs> i think i think twice where they were like hey hamba you know <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. no, I, I remember it was problems. april um april <laughs> on my l last year and mm. um, metric and they were like i I think if we are not there, we are too No comment. <laughs> no, the thing is, I I just didn't like. I, it was like we were washy women, you know. And what I started doing, I, like I wanted to create some vibe. For me, it was like it was too, you know. Well, that's a pleasure, come on. So so like during school. <laughs> Break, short break, long break. So I short break, no one will be So I the office. Oh my word. And beyond some, just standing there, people were like, oh, you're going home. And uh, when they brought everybody back, you know, and go right at the top of the mountain. Just We're talking opposite. about Komori again. Komori. And we will just like, and they would come with, you know, you just have one hour with like, oh, people. And they will get many of them, mm. but Rona will be hiding right there and looking at the school or yeah, they are fetching all of them back home, Mara. I, yeah, no, 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 no. I thought you were from Pretoria, no? Like, no. Like with, with, you know, come. You, then when did you move to Alexander? Uh, to Joburg, I moved. In 2000, I was I came to draw work in 2000. Oh, my fingers are looking. 2000, I'm at, oh, 2010. Oh, yeah. no, 2000. That's what. That's what. 22 years. 22 years. Yeah, yeah, 22 years. Yeah. You moved with your parents? No, I didn't. I'm, I moved. I moved alone, but I was staying with my sister. You're staying with your sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, um, and I think I I was tired of this on the ladam decent man. It was just too much for me, and I wanted to go to my own, the church that I want. That you want. Yes. Okay, okay. And my parents were like, ah, uh -uh, our roof, our rules. Mm. So I think I, I was rebellious because I wanted the freedom. Okay. If they allowed me So it already, felt more yeah. impressive for yes. you. Like, so uh, now, honestly, I, I just wanted to go to a, a church where I, I fellowship in a way that I want. You know, mm. I, I believe in Christ and I... I pray in Christ's name, I read the Bible. For me, that is what I had discovered uh, around that time, and it's what I dealt with. Okay. And my parents just were like, uh uh, they are going to This particular. This so, church. when you did you switch? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> When did you switch from the church that your parent, yeah, parents were uh, uh, restricting you to move away from to Karakabazalwan? So basically, I'm asking, when did you uh, become a born again Christian? In 96. 96. 96. So what happened was, we were going to a conference, like every year uh, around September. Uh, actually, we went there four times. But then this time, it was around September. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what okay. we used to call it. And when we went there, we had a family car accident. And it was a bad one. My mom Whoa. actually nearly lost her life. And uh, I got fractures and, you know, yeah. so I became very much, I, I think I was unconscious for like two weeks. Whoa. And then when I woke up, they were like, because I hit my head against the rock and whatever. And my, um, so waking up, what happened? You know, they were like, you, memory wise, it, it, it took a bit longer for me to mm. even remember exactly uh. what happened and all of that. So after the whole incident, for me, it was like, we we're going to church. Why didn't this God protect us? You know, <laughs> my, my mom, I nearly lost my mom, my, my, my niece, uh, my nephew, actually. Then he got very badly injured. 
it was only my younger sister and my younger brother who who were okay who came mm -hmm. out of but if you looked at the car that we were in it, it was, was, it was a wreck yeah. listen you know so for me that's where the transition was Uti, okay maybe there's no god here so i'm gonna go and find my own journey wow yeah <laughs> i never expected that yeah. <laughs> yeah and tell me something so you high school wafeta did you go to tesh yes what did you study yes i studied uh, business secretarial and i think that's why i'm so passionate about um business and things being done the proper way so you've got a degree um i did i did diploma not okay. degree but it was a, a diploma and because mm -hmm. i didn't know exactly what i wanted to do with your, uh, your so i started with business secretarial uh business administration that's what they used to call it mm -hmm. and then I, I passed it with distinction Oh, and mm. then <laughs> name dropping yes. <laughs> yes come on i actually only found out recently that it was distinction because i was looking at all my certificates and you know and i realized so yeah so, and, and then i want to understand mm. your introduction to music where did, where did that come about um when i started working in um oh. in, when we met there was in 2010 2010, 2010. Mm -hmm. that was 2010 um so that's how i got introduced by uh, right. but like from church i was in the music i, I grew up a uh, so i grew up in the music space uh, by i think when i was what 12 13 i even recorded a, a, an album with the youth there uh, you know, so I grew up in music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. IPC is known as a music church, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. when you grow up there, you know the sound, you know exactly what good music is. And I think uh, that's where we were trained. I in. see. And you related to Tsepo? Tsepo is my nephew. Yeah. I'm sure he criticized her until he was mm. as good as he is now. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you know, it, it's funny because when... I always say that he's my reason to music mm. because when he started, well, I, I, I mean, that boy, uh, you know, then he went to school, high school, and then he went to tertiary. Then when he started being in the, when he got into the industry, mm -hmm. he would share to a, an aunt, you know, my experiences in mm. the industry and, and blah, blah. And so for me, I was like, as well, or no, man, something needs to be done. Because if my own blood is going through this, yep, yep. and I'm sitting here and I actually see the, this, the things that he's talking about mm. are nothing new. But already I'm in the industry, I'm experiencing other people complaining about see, these yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. So now my own blood is, it's, now it hits home. It's not just about just, uh, just general industry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, now it hits home. I was okay. like, I have to do something about it. Wow. Yeah. Okay, before we continue with the music, ne? well, still with the music, there was this church. It it, it was called Sentinel Convention Center, and apparently you were singing good day. Yeah. And when they, they you, when 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 you mention your name, everyone were you were you did you lead a group or did you lead the the worship there? Oh no, I, so I was more of a backing vocalist and honestly, when I went there, the plan was not to be in the music space oh, at all. Okay. Mm. So the, the music director, but when uh, they spoke the, about the you, the head of music, hey, they were afraid, eh? <laughs> God, <laughs> you, eh? <laughs> so the head of music is my best friend from, since I got, uh, I came to Joburg, mm. uh, Tato Mashao, and he, he was like, uh, when, when, when they started this, uh, the round table meetings, mm. They were like, Wait, let's start with worship. And Tatu was there just playing music. And because we grew up together, go, go Grace Bible Church, she was like, why don't you just lead a song there? And I mean, I, I just thought maybe it's just a once-off thing, you know, and, you know, we'll get people, aye. I was, I was actually, uh, listen, I was dragged into this thing. I didn't want to be part of it, but that's how I became part of it. And uh, so basically I was doing the, um, the management of the, of the team more than being a singer but because i was the first vocalist there that's how i became part of the whole thing and can you read or write music i can't i no i didn't study music so i can't wow. but, no. I saw one of your pictures it's very successful 
<laughs> and then there was a music <laughs> response. <laughs> there was a violin, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know why? Because my a friend of mine is a music teacher, um, Pascal, 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 yeah, Pascal. I can't remember his name. Um, but he's he's a music teacher. So that day, I had gone with him to school. And uh, he uh, he was like, do the posing there. So oh, that, that's what I, I always see. Yeah. So before Ria I don't want to forget this one. I see yeah. you've got a ring. Are you married? Oh no! Stop nonsense, baby. Stop nonsense. Stop nonsense. <laughs> yes. But to be honest, I do not see you and uh, and uh, taking instruction from another man. <laughs> so you have plans of getting what? married? <laughs> I'm not the one to plan. No, no. Would you? Would you, if it comes, is, is you accept it, it? Of course. The husband must be rich and must have a perfect pitch. Musical genius. Let us speak for we can see. Ah, no, but no. <laughs> if he's not no. rich, not a, has not a perfect pitch. No, but, but he must. He must have a, an ear for music. He must love music. Ah, uh, wow. told you. No, uh, but you know no, why? No, we're talking husband. Yes, a husband. Does he have... No, but you know why? Because we're going to sit and we're going to listen to music. We're going to mm -hmm. sit and listen to music. Let me ask you that. Yeah. Are you looking for a music partner or are you looking for a lifetime partner? A lifetime Two partner different things. who loves music. So they have to complement each other. So, uh -uh. so, so this, is, this, is, this is not acceptable. So if you find someone who ticks all the boxes except the music aspect of it, is there a no I, deal? I, I'll, I, no, I'll teach him. I have a no. You can't just adopt a, 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 a ear for music. It's either you've got it or you don't. Yeah, well, I, I'll, well he would love the music that I love then. Eh? Okay. <laughs> anyway, so then. Tell me, do you have kids? No, I don't. Good. <gasps> why should I have kids? Oh, you're waiting for marriage. I never want... This is the thing about me. Grew, growing up, a lot of my friends in high school, Babi Leban, Mm -hmm. But not the single mothers. They had to grow up very quickly and um, and drop out some okay. of them. So you learn by like, observation. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, I don't want this. Mm -hmm. You know, mucha tenge wana like she can't go out because wana mm -hmm. I was like, this is not the life mm -hmm. that I want. Mm -hmm. So I've always been intentional about my life. Uhore. What is it that I want? Mm -hmm. you so you've know? been structured. Atlanta yes, yes. Because and I think it's how I was raised as well. My parents have been so strict to a point that now I was, I was tested whether I kill a virgin or not. I kill a pregnant and I was still a virgin. I didn't even know what they were doing. <laughs> but already I was being checked. Already, you know, what's up? Wait a hell of a yeah. <laughs> so Can you check was, those things? Well, okay, I, I, I missed my cycle. I was 15. Mm. I missed my cycle. My mother panicked. Mm. And um, I was taken for pregnancy tests. Oh so word. that was a shock for me. And I was like, I never want to put my mother in such a, oh, a, a situation. A stressful you know? situation. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So it was yeah. traumatic But do you think you'll make well. you a Oh, yeah. I love kids. As I love kids. Sing, and, and kids love me. But <laughs> <I was laughs> like, as long as they can sing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now, go, let's, go back, let's go back to music. Ne? Mm. To the singing. Um... At what point did you decide, I am and half of the industry can't sing? At what point did you decide that? Um, at a point, okay. <laughs> oh, something is coming. She, yeah, I know. That look. Um, so what happened was, come Tetra. That's where it began, <laughs> right? Okay. And um, Kayam Tetra, and this is something that people don't know, but Kayam Tetra messed with me without knowing who I was. What do you mean mess with you? Um, Ukaya, Kaya's friend or music, music producer or music director yeah. is, is, my best, is one of my best friends. Baking team. Uh, um, sorry. Um, uh, Bazong. Mm -hmm. Baking team. Mm -hmm. So he, we were friends. We are friends. So at that time, Nebaita the first album ya yeah, Kaya after yep, Idols. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, so I went there to, you know, he, wa he was moving, something was happening, but I was supposed to be helping him with something. And mm. because I was, uh, I was driving a bike, uh, you know, we decided we we're going to do that after his rehearsals. 
the rehearsals were taking place at Kaya's place. And mm -hmm. then I went there to, you know, um, to wait for him a bit and, you know, so that we can go. And uh, Kaya, that time, I think he, wa he, he was used to, everybody must scream when they see him, especially if you don't know him in person. But for me, it was like, I've been in the industry. And one thing that uh, Oprah Jen taught me was that don't treat celebrities like celebrities. Treat them like colleagues. And if you're a manager, they are actually, you're actually the boss. You shouldn't be, you know, looking at them like, oh my gosh, I love your music, even though you do. <laughs> but don't act like, you know. So mm -hmm. I think Kaya couldn't understand why I'm not excited to see him because then, I mean, he was the guy, you know. And um, he gave me some funny looks and, you know, and uh, I think it's two times, three times. The third time I saw him, we were at Lind Linda Landing Kiza's house. Um, it was after um, that guy was Omo. What's his name? Yeah. Um, Ganyis. Ganyis. Yeah. So I think the joyous gang was mm. celebrating him and mm. whatever. So every, everybody was there. Just was celebrating. Yeah, just was celebrating. Mm. <laughs> so we're at Linda Nani's house and, you know, they were, you know, we're drinking there and whatever. And, um, and Ukaya. You know my laughter, and you know that I've con reconstructed my, 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 you know, my, my teeth. And at that moment, I didn't care. I didn't give a <laughs> to how my teeth looked like. For me, I was confident as a person. Yeah. And I was busy, because they were busy cracking jokes there. It was clear that I was see ya. See, I'm tell to I know um, the, the guy who passed. Uh, uh, what's his name? Which guy? Akumzi. Akumzi, yeah. Akumzi. Yeah, who was on your... your yes. Your so he was, he, he was a, fr a, a, a friend, friend to, to, to the group, yeah. Yeah. So he was busy making jokes there, and I was finished. I mean, I was laughing my lungs out. Kai was there. I think he was jealous or a moto, and like, because it was fun where we were. Mm. And he started making fun of me. Like, ha, 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 ha. You know? Because my teeth were like all over. So when he did that, I, it killed me, bro. Akumzi was like, don't worry, because you could see where my spirit dropped from here to mm. here. And I, then I was not even Ugadafi. But when I started being Ugadafi, Kaya was my first target. Honor oh, no, that guy. That guy can I, when I fix my, because I made sure to give a shop. Like I look good so that nobody can say he can do what he did on mm. that day. Because like it just bruised my ego, bra. Like it was. It was bad. It was bad. So it so I was right in terms of saying this feud Especially between you guys was personal. Was personal. It was very personal. I won't lie, it was very personal. Yeah. But but then is it is it in sharp? Um well it's not like we met and say uh, I forgive you, you're forgiven. It's just that thing you would say, I've put it behind me, but I don't respect him as a as a gospel musician and as a pastor. He is not, he doesn't have, he doesn't have the personality. Like he can portray it out there on TV or, you know, God loves you and, you know, we must love each other. He doesn't practice that shit. He can talk about but okay, it, let, let, let me but ask he doesn't you. practice it. And let, for me, I don't have respect for him based on that. But, but, but okay, let, let's go back. Because, uh, you know, we, we were structuring the interview so that we, we can go, you know, like, layer by layer yeah you know, but you, <laughs> i see you're already getting into it <laughs> at an early uh, stage um you are explaining your interaction with with kai you know how you how it started and how you responded eventually mm -hmm. was there any at uh, at any point where you, you had a conversation with him and there was an outline or here's my issue with you here's my leonard here's my issue with you or was it just based on perception, Hori? I think he did that. I think he saw it. Was it what it, did you guys have a conversation about, you know? We never had uh, the conversation and I never wanted to have the conversation because if, if we had that conversation, Gaddafi would have died long time ago. Uh, okay, so this is purely based on, on perception. I, I did not like the way Anshebileng or there was that demeanor airing Hori, you know, what he expected a certain reaction. So this is this is purely based on that. Yeah. So <laughs> I want to understand something. So because it's per so because 
it was birthed then. Then you decided you're going to do it with everyone. Yeah. And you get joy from that. I won't say I get joy. I mean, I don't do it to, uh, to spite people. But I realized you would say doing it in that, in, in, with the Gaddafi character, it has more impact than when I do it in a softer, with a soft voice, Yahore. Please, because nobody would be listening to me. So I had to come out and say it raw as it is. So I can be sitting with you here and thinking, Uban uh, sings, and I'm telling you, Yahore, mm hey, -hmm. Kaya sings here. But then when I go out there, I'm like, um, I think I must sing on a, on a lower key and over. Oh, so it, it, the, the two, the, these two are very different. And people would actually listen to what I say to you directly, directly than, of, you know, trying you, to well, but, but, put it in okay, a nice Okay, way. I think so, because I, I want to get into, you know, the, the, the approach, the mindset, you mm -hmm. know. You, you come across as someone who, who loves uh, being a uh, music critic, like listening to someone's album, and you are able to put out points with, this is good, what's good about it. And being a music critic, or music, that as a, as a you know, profession has always been there. Mm. You know? mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself a music critic, or you just go after people that you want to go after? I've always been passionate about music. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. That is the foundation. Mm -hmm. And I think what happened between me and Kaya, if that didn't happen, I'd still be a music critic, but in a very nice way. So I don't, I don't go out there attacking people. I listen to, I, I support South African music. I listen to music. Mm -hmm. I, I, I won't speak about an artist or music and, until I listen to your music. If I don't say about you I, I don't even give a shit about your 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 your, your work <laughs> so if i say even one word about your your music or if i mention you it means you are worth mentioning it means mm. i have i have bought your music i took time <laughs> to listen to your music mm. so if you check all the critiques that i've done even with kaya Kaya, I, I, I honestly think that he is a, he's a great music writer, but um, I don't like his voice. It's not my, my, my preference, the kind of music that I would, like a voice that I would listen to uh, the entire day. But I love the way he, um, uh, his songwriting, I love. Mm. Uh, um, but uh, he won idols, see? So we have, I mean, there's his you, voice. But you can't say he can't, can't sing. Can't, he can't, there's no way you can. The fact that you don't like his. Kaya cannot sing. <laughs> But okay, okay. So there's 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 there's, there's <laughs> arguing from emotionalism, <laughs> and there's fact. How did the guy win idols if he cannot sing? Because there were judges. There were. Are you, are you kidding me? I, I'm are, asking are, you this question. Are you, are, you, are you actually asking me about idols? Straightforward. Idols, idols. It, it's not about who can sing. Okaya, Kaya won before he won. I, I don't think this. Can thing you was... substantiate what you're saying? So what would you you want me to pull the, the record? Exactly. Can you substantiate what you're saying? Would How many he... people on that show could sing? Okaya, before he even went there, was he not? Was was it before uh, Joyous? He was. He wasn't Joyous. I think Joyous sixteen. So, so Kaya, is... Kaya was only there because was he getting? I'm I'm sure he was even requested to come on Idols because he had the crowd. They no, had to call no, no, someone no, no. Who, who's pulling the... Oh, no, really no, no, Gaddafi, no. How, how, okay, how do you know this? <laughs> like, how, that's how, why, how do you substantiate How them? do you know this? Sorry. Because Kaya, now... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stick on, on, okay. on Kaya. I think, no, no, I think, let's so, move on. Let's, so, let's move on. Eh? So, for instance... No, no, no. I don't want us to stick on there, but there's a... I've, 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 I've heard... No, but I'm, I'm not I've, done answering. So, can I just do... Say okay, let it be. So, my last point is that... Let's take Dr. Dumi, for instance. I don't think Dr. Dumi can sing. I don't think Benjamin Dewe can sing. But these two people, I've always said they are good music writers. Oh, Benjamin can connect with people emotionally, right? Mm -hmm. Spiritually. Like, if you are very down, I play Benjamin Dewe when I'm down, but I don't sit there thinking, wow, this guy can sing. That guy, if you, if you sit with a sober mind, that guy cannot sing. 
So for me, it's, it's about which state, what state are you on when you listen to these people? If I'm broken, I'm emotional, I'm kind uh, oh, oh, Benjamin, you're not a doctor to me. But I work out, it's the words, you know, it's the lyrical content. Mm -hmm. But it's not, the, it's not the voices. It's not the, I see the way I've been acting. I, I, I can't. I, I need to ask you this. You see, if you were saying they came out and claimed they were best singers, I think they're good singers. If they came out, then I feel like, yeah, then you can say, no, you can sing or not. But they've never claimed. Music is not just. Uh, Benjamin Duba said he's legendary. But he legendary. Is. He is. Legendary. He, but he is. Yeah, he is. But I, okay, let me answer you. Okay. Uh, no, but let okay, me answer you. Just answer that. <laughs> Benjamin Duba has been doing this thing for long. For a long time. Music. Gospel music, to be precise, for a very long time. Has it he, been? Has, he, has, he has proven his worth. Uh. He's got his own style. He's, he's legendary in terms of, he still fills arenas even today. After so many years, you've got to give him credit. He's done an awesome job. He's done an awesome job. Awesome but job. But he can't sing. You see, when you say uh, someone cannot can sing. Can he sing? Yes, yes he, can he can sing. sing. He might not sing according to your Look, standard or whoever, but he can sing. Baba, let, let, me, let me give you a good Oh analysis. my gosh, I can't believe this. So do you guys listen? Uh, do, you, have you, do you listen to Benjamin? Yeah, I listen to Benjamin. From a long time ago. From long ago. Let me, let me give you... Let me give he, you. For the fact that what do you guys think that he can sing? He can it sing. means that you, you sing like him. I'm happy so to sing like him. So that's why you think he can <laughs> sing. I'd love to sing like him. But see, sing. see, let me... Let me, you let, love to. Me, let me... Let me... Come on. Let me, let me give you... You see, just like you would say that there are different cars, you know? You'd have a Tess, you'd have mm. a BMW. Those are cars. Correct. But different levels of vehicles. It's the same thing vocally. When you say a person cannot sing, what measure are you using? And if you're saying he cannot sing, what measure are you using? If because... He, he, uh, this is the measure. Mm -hmm. If Benjamin Dewe wanted to, uh, to study music, you mm -hmm. know how the audition first? Yeah. He wouldn't mm -hmm. make it. I disagree with you. But f on, from uh, uh, which style are you, are you referring to? If, if, are you saying, let's say there was a, 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 a school for gospel music. Yeah. He wouldn't make it. He wouldn't make it. Do you, I think but, let's... When, when you, uh, but here's the thing, ne? Can I ask? Can, I, can yes. I ask now? Yeah. When you say you're listening to his music, wh what are you listening to when you listen to his music? I'm listening to the whole music. Composition, the whole production, the how composition, he sings, the band. Does the it ever come to a point where you mute the instrumental, everything, and you listen to him? Yeah, there's times where he sings alone with the piano, and I've, I see no problem because music is not just about hitting the right notes or having a certain tone. It's also about evoking emotions, putting you in a different space, and he does that very well. Extremely so well. It's not, but he cannot not, sing. Not everyone. I don't deny that, and that's yeah. what I said. What it that's. But it depends on um 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 mamela only you know go go by being ethnic. No, yes. But if we are going to talk about music, that have, what is singing like? Uh, you know yes, what? Because now artist. we're going to want to analyze because 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 you know what? Benjamin is an artist. If you're going to throw musician. around you know you know especially labels for man cannot <laughs> sing. Give us an analysis of what is a singer. No. When okay. you say somebody can sing, okay. what do you yes. mean? Who, who is a good singer in South African gospel according to you? Can yeah, who can sing? Who can sing according to you? So maybe we can compare apples with apples, maybe. Ndogoza can sing. Ndogoza Mbamba. Ndogoza Mbamba. Mm. And? At least give us three or four names. Ndogoza Mbamba. Yes. Uh, Usbu Noa can sing. Hmm? Uh... Who else can sing? The list is very small. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, okay. Um, what's her name? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Um, Sizo Magwaza? We said three, I guess. Mm. What about Sizo Magwaza? Not my style. No, but you see, see, here's, here's, can people, Gaddafi. according to you, if, some, if, if it's not your style, does this mean a person then cannot sing? You cannot use your opinion as a generic I approach. I can. Actually, you can't. I can. 
<laughs> you'll be found wanting. You can't tell me what I can't do. Okay, well, you I'm, can't. Clearly, no. <laughs> clearly with what's you, happening. Uh, uh, that, that, that's you. But you, you can't tell me how I, I judge m music. But your, or your perspective or your conspectus is not a generic standard. You can come, you can say Benjamin can, he cannot sing. Someone will come and say, wow, this guy can sing. Correct. You know why they would say he can sing? Hmm. Because they are troubled. All they want to do is to cry. When you listen to <laughs> Benjamin, it's like a man who is crying. A man who is troubled and is crying. That is not singing. Do you remember so the anyone? Do you remember the pinata Benjamin Dewey before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't take me back there. I have all the albums. Do you remember? So, okay, let me okay, I'm let not, me give you a song. I am not talking based on what I'm hearing right now. Okay. This shit is I'm coming I have been listening to this shit from years ago. Remember the song Holy Spirit, yeah, Benjamin Dewey? It broke boundaries everywhere. It was played in taverns everywhere. People must have heard something. It was not yeah, well, in, in taverns, yeah, obviously. You know why? Because Nebus oh. uh, was also played in taverns and all those kinds of things. But listen, but, but that's my point. also played there. But I always go back to what I said mm. when I began start, when I started talking about U Benjamin. Mm. Why? Why? But who? Why didn't I come, Mamela? Because come, Mamela. Like when I am broken, and I know this is one person who's gonna, who's gonna. I I I will. This song. Or his voice will relate to my cry. He mm. cries the way I cry. So that is the only point where I will listen to him. When I'm not sober, emotionally I'm not sober. I'm not talking about gr drunkenness. Mm. But I, when you are, when, when you are broken, once you come out of that, you realize, oh, no man. <laughs> okay, let me. I need to ask you this now. What is your offering to the gospel? Uh, industry what qualifies qualifies you to feel no 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 this person cannot sing i feel he cannot sing and i'm gonna tell the world that he cannot sing what do you think qualifies you to to utter those, those utterances what qualifies me yeah. being me qualifies me i don't need <laughs> I, I i don't need any you know what i i buy i mean i'm a i'm a i always say that i'm a music anybody can be a music critique by the way yeah oh, obviously obviously you understand 100%. so for me as long as I buy your music and I listen to it, I have every right to say, to give you feedback about what I think about your music. Okay. And the only, Thanks. I think what, what, what stands out, Gaga Duff, is that people don't say what they think about the music they've bought. I was, I was the, uh, or let me say, Gaddafi was that voice that said, okay, this is what I think about this music. Mm -hmm. And that's what made Gaddafi to, you know, to be out there. But if I didn't say anything, I'll be just like everybody. They, I, I, I mean... Okay. So you, you are yep. the, you're the EFF of the industry. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I can remember the EFF. Um, when they... Uh, they robust, put an issue, yeah. They are very robust. <laughs> and they will put it the way it is. Is, it, is that... Do you see a lot of similarities? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah? I do. <laughs> so, yes. Comrade. Yes. Comrade Gaddafi. Yes. No, we hear you. Uh, we hear you. But um, when somebody says they're a critic, I've never seen a monument being built of a critic. I don't do, oh, okay, what does that mean? A monument. Like, they'll never build a statue. But this guy was the best critic. They built uh, monuments for people who, 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 who get things done, who work, who, who, who leave a legacy. A critique cannot be a legacy you can leave behind. Mm -hmm. So with that say, I saw a post Malabayan when they said, it's easy to look sharp when you're not doing anything. So that's the reason why I asked Yuri, Hagen, what qualifies you? What is your offering to the industry uh, besides the criticism? What, what uh, are you offering? Okay, so, so if they had to build a monument, Ka, ka Gaddafi, mm -hmm. What, what would it say, the writing? What, what, what does it say? So, I mean, uh, my biggest goal in the, in the industry, and I think even if I had to uh, call it off, mm. call it quits and say I'm done, I, am, I think I've fulfilled the role that I was supposed to fulfill in the industry in a manner where, I mean, music critique was just a cherry on top. Yeah, yeah. But the, what was more important for me was to teach the industry on how to turn your talent into business. 
because most artists were just, you know, going on stage, I, I have a voice, but then they don't get paid, they don't know what their rates are, they don't know that uh, how mm -hmm. to register their company, uh, their, their brand as a, as, as a company mm -hmm. and, you know, um, complying with, uh, with, with SARS, with the all music the, yeah, man, All the requirements, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, register with the music organizations like your Samro, Capasso, all of those organizations. Most of them didn't know, and that's how people were getting exploited by mm -hmm. record labels, by managers, promoters, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. you know, transparency wasn't there. I taught them about contracts, what needs to be in the contract. Why, why there must be a contract and what needs to be, you know, the outline. Outline, mm -hmm. don't, yeah, yeah. As well, um, even people that are exploited by Abu Linda, London, Kize, the record labels, right now we're still dealing with uh, cases where this young girl, um, Gabsa the Small, stole the song and Gabsa is like, no. Now we, it's a case where Sam wrote to say, mm -hmm. okay, so where's the evidence? You know, so <laughs> there's a lot of cases that I've been working on behind, uh, behind the scenes things that I don't put out there. And it's so unfortunate to see people, they will only focus on Gaddafi being oh. this music critic, mm. but uh, they don't, um, you know, um, they, I mean, most can say, um, mm -hmm. I, the, my last interview was with this guy, the one who did the expose, uh, uh, we did the expose, uh, Linda Lanum Kizi. Um, he now released a, it released a single. And this is one person where they said, if you speak out, uh, your doors will be shut down. And I was like, there's no way. If, if I will, I'll do anything for this guy. Actually, as a, as a matter of fact, I do PR. I help him as much as I can. Mm. Today, he is a, a solo musician. Um, and he is good. Like, he, he's complying in everything. He's mm. a business. So everything for me, up. yeah. So for me, my, I, 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 there's a lot of people who are saying, in private, obviously they won't say that in public <laughs> because nobody yeah. wants to be seen supporting Gaddafi because so, it's this radical voice that is. Uh, you so know? let me let me. Do you have a lot of artists coming to you and say we're struggling with this? Oh yeah. yeah. Really? Oh yes. So they just hate you on social media, but behind oh, yes. closed doors they, they talk to you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. In fact, a lot of people that we may be fighting like in or disagreeing on a lot of mm. things uh, in public. Behind doors, we speak like the sharp, the sharp, the yeah. grand mm. line, you yeah. know. So they, at, um, a lot of people, uh, especially I'm an artist. Mm. People who fight me, he defends uh, these artists. But the artists understand Hore, what my mission is. I'm not there to break them, mm. but I'm saying to them, Hore, okay, instead of doing this, do it this way. It's just that it's how I put it out there. Okay, <laughs> actually, we're talking. Sorry, let me come in. Um, we were talking with Tutso, you know, um, looking at, at the, you know, the information that you put forth, which we're going to come on to that because you don't want to talk about the bad part only, you know. I have a question where I need to get clarity. Um, when you do your music critique, is it intentional for you to be, to be vile, to be put in vulgar, to, you know, like I saw a post to your putu. I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo. <laughs> My question, look, because you are a very direct person. Yeah. Why do you see the need? Because you're putting something forth that is that has me to say, okay, this is what I think about this project. But why why they need to be also vile and the Valka? Why is it? I think <laughs> like I said, Ore, when I started uh doing music critique, it was in a very nice and polite way, and people were not listening. But when I started being vile, people started listening. And uh, I think being, being rude about it makes people to not forget what I said. And uh, a lot of artists, actually, they will say to me, because you said one, two, three, when I, got in, when I go into studio, I'm thinking I shouldn't do what she spoke about got somebody yep, yep. else. You mm. know what I mean? Because if I said um, Putuma is crying like a b and then you don't want to do that because it's like people, she's going to say the same thing about me and it's, it's not, I don't want people to be thinking that about me when I sing. So I need to ask you this then. You said uh, you said you believe you, you're born again, right? I am born again. But, and then, 
Then how Rohana is so don't you feel like you're betraying your other side now? Betraying what? Yeah, but you're, you're based on scripture, you you, you're, you're, you cannot use foul language. It's, it's yeah. you know. Don't you feel like you're betraying your, your that part? <laughs> based on scripture. Who said that? Do you want us to open the scripture? Oh, About vulgar. Who, who said that? No, but the Bible is talking about the Bible. Can be. Okay, but I, what okay. Is the, who wrote the Bible? Okay, ah, let, let's look good. Let, let, let's let's yeah. start here. So for me, I think, I think for me let, that's where it is. Mm -hmm. that, that's where it is. I mean, I have a personal relationship with my God, mm -hmm. right? I am, I am fulfilling my purpose that I'm supposed to be fulfilling. If God had to say to me, oh, Hare, you know what? Uh, uh, please don't, don't use one, two, three because it's vulgar. It's vulgar because people are saying it's vulgar. But for me, it's emphasis. It's not vulgar. <laughs> so would you use that language if, if we were to go to an interview? What interview? Let's, say for Let's just say just for a job, uh, would you speak to uh, an elderly person using that language or going for an interview? Would you use that language? I, I don't understand. Like, um, no, no. I get it. You're you saying that it's an expression. I get it. Yeah. So what I'm asking you is that would you use the same expression at an interview if you're going for an interview and you're looking for oh, a job? Or with elder, elderly with, with an, If you were talking to an elderly person, would you use the same language that you're using? Why would I use it? I'm not emphasizing. It will just be... No, it, if you had to <laughs> emphasize yourself in the same situation, would you, would you... What we're trying to say is, are you aware in terms of who you, who you use profanity with or do you just use it wherever you are? If you feel you need to emphasize yourself, would you go to Would you? I don't go to church. But anyway. <laughs> you don't uh, go to church? No, I don't. But, but the, the Bible says we must meet. And, uh, you moment. see, you, you must stop telling me about what you believe because I, uh, Bible no, but no, but you made it clear that we don't believe the same me. thing. If we, if we mean you believe in Jesus, then we are all uh, guarded by the same the same Bible, because Jesus is That's the where Bible. we find our instructions. Ah, in ah, no, instructions. Ah, no. Don't tell me about instructions. <laughs> well, Don't tell me about instru instructions from who. And let me tell you, and this is the thing. This is the thing. I, I was raised to believe, yes, or uh, Bible is the word of God. Mm -hmm. Until I experienced God myself. Mm -hmm. The word from God, the word of God is the word from God. It's not the Bible. The Bible is a history book. It's your story, my story, your story, your story, put together. And then they said it's the Bible. We are talking about our walks with God. If you read the Bible from Genesis to Revelations, you realize oh, this thing is talking about the history it's about. It's about when they walked with God. But there's a lot of contradictions from Old Testament to New Testament to show Horomoto. Make it a worse to recite. Learn mm -hmm. to worse a how. Mm -hmm. What God said to you is not what He will say to me. Okay, so in essence, you're saying that you don't believe in the Bible. No, I don't believe in the Bible. Okay, I think that is. All right, I think. I think yeah. Yeah. we can move on. I believe in God. <laughs> but how do, in, in how do you believe in how do you believe in Jesus Christ and how are you born again? Because that's what the Bible says. That is the guideline. Yes. Look, I, I like, like you see what I said, mm -hmm. Hore. You tell your story. I tell mm -hmm. my story. So what happened? I'm not nullifying what happened about mm. the story of Christ. Okay. Right? But I'm saying what, when Paul wrote whatever that he wrote, and when, I, I mean, what happened, it, it, it's a history of, this is, the, there was Christ, and he died, and you know, all of that. I believe that. Mm. Right? But it is written. Because I have mm. experienced it. Uh, okay. For me, it's about experience. No, but because I, that's what creates a relationship. Mm -hmm. Going to church, to me because I went to church for so, so for so many years and I never experienced God until I left church so I experienced God when I left church that is why for me being in a service or even praying or worshiping or even God speaking God speaks to me outside the Bible they have gone through so many things in my life where uh, even my healing my healing breakthroughs had nothing to do with what is written in the Bible Serious. But what God said to me, do one, two, three, four, it's not even in the Bible. So mm -hmm. imagine if I was stuck at church, I would have died of this chronic that was said to me, or it's going to kill you. I would have died of cancer. But when I left the church, I was like, God, I've tried everything that the Bible says we should do. What pastor says that you say we should do. And everything failed. What is going on? And that's why I found my breakthrough. And that is why I get it. 
I found God outside that, that book. Okay. I think it settles it. If I you say that you don't believe in the mm. Bible, we cannot hold you up and say this yeah. is... Oh, know, yeah, sure. Yeah, no, no, no. Then, yeah. then do, do you know what I think the, big, the biggest thing is... Um, I don't know if it's actually the biggest thing, but a lot of, a lot of people, say, they say they believe or don't believe in the Bible, but they'll choose this part. Yeah, which, I which ever suits so them. We, it's, it seems like we choose, but I don't want us to, to, to dwell there. Yeah, then let's move. Cause Go, going think, back a bit, I, I heard uh, there's people who actually took protection orders against you. <laughs> you safe. Protection what, order against me. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I asked you, where are your bodyguards when yeah, you walked yeah. in? Are you safe? Did did Lenderam Kiza not take you to court? Uh, you know, I, that was just a stunt because he was actually even making some people to call me uh, Bariki police officers. So the court case. Thomas. So he never took it. I don't. Need, I, I never received anything. Really? It's just that he put out there. But have you ever been threatened? Have, have you ever had your life threatened where people are? Yeah. It was that thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah when we did the expose, yeah, Linda Lanim Kize, and when I say horror, uh, some guys called me saying that their police officers must come to Eden Vale Police Station, um, and you know, and my lawyers were like tell them to call us directly because that's not how it's done. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why a lot of people in the industry are afraid mm -hmm. to speak out when they're being exploited by him because mm -hmm. these are the kind of threats that he, he uses. But he's, he's done a, a marvelous work, a celebration. And I won't deny that. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is that he must pay people what was due to them because that's where the problem is. When you start exploiting people. We see doing you the great work out mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. but these artists, if their pockets are, are exploited, then it's a problem. As much as they are shining out there, but they are dying of depression because where, what we see, them shining and getting yeah. makeup with beautiful costumes and mm -hmm. great lighting, but they go back home and there's no food. So, so you have those artists I'm coming fighting. to you and saying, yes. like you spoke about the expose, yeah. so this is what, what has happened. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sure. So I don't deny, I mean, I respect him as uh, someone who has given a platform to a lot of people that we know today and we mm. celebrate. But I don't, like, uh, I don't like people now dying of depression because mm. he has stolen their talent. It's like he's stealing your soul, you know, and uh, taking your soul. And um, yeah, I, 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 for me, it's, it's what, I, it's what I'm, I'm against. I respect him as as someone who has created the platform, but don't exploit people. Okay. So, talking about exploiting people, as a female, we need to touch on this one. Uh, <clears throat> do you believe female artists in the industry are safe? They are not safe. Then why do you They are not safe because a lot of them come into the music space, especially a lot of them are not, are not academics. Right, and I also I always emphasize this. The reason why I was fought against for so many years is because I kept insulting, not in a bad way, but <laughs> insulting <laughs> is a bad. You cannot insult in a good way. You <laughs> <laughs> kept on <laughs> insulting. Let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> not academics, or if you are not a non how can you say a, mus a musician if you cannot read music? And for me, it was to say what. Well, if you're not a profession in what you're doing, mm -hmm. you're always going to be exploited. You're always going to be taken granted of. That's why there will always, there will always be uh, uh, people slipping their way to the top. Um, does that really happen? It does happen. Is it, is it, spoken about it. Is it voluntary or, or are they... Uh, so I want to lead a song. Before you lead a song, I, people sleep with them. Is it like, do they offer it? Or do, are they put in the corner is what I'm trying to ask. They are placed in the corner. To say what? Really? So it's like, you know, this carrot, yeah, you will get yeah. this. This is, and this Did is, you want to three? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, you know, let's, is that thing. You know, you, you'll get all of this. Provided. Provided. Mm -hmm. So in that manner, they are not safe. So you, you this is not here, so you know of women who've slept their way to the top um, in the industry. I mean, they have a lot of, Number of them have, I mean, Kimang. Hey, hey. 
No, but it's interviews that have been on okay. uh, yeah, talk, yeah. on on TV as well. Lungi and I do spoke about it. Mm. Um, spoke about I think it was was it Universal when mm. she was signed with Universal and she was like, I was posing out there being all you know as if I'm making it in the industry and whatever. But in reality, for you to get your contract signed and whatever, mm. this is where you have to you know you have to do this. I mean, it's it's things we have seen. Ka'atamafokati, guys. Like, all the people that he's... All the females that he's ever signed were girlfriends. Yeah. And we know... I mean, this thing is, has been in papers. And it's just that people don't speak about don't it. Don't speak about them. Sure. It's out there. Yeah. And you believe the gospel entertainment industry is... is heavily male dominated it's heavily <laughs> heavily <laughs> uh, yeah it's heavily male gay dominated <laughs> <laughs> what why do you have issues with gay people no i actually don't no you came out the other time you said joy celebration is Gay celebration. Yeah, yeah but, but it doesn't mean that I have issue against No, him. but you even came out, you said Dr. Dumi's backing vocalist is... A, people act like they don't know that Dr. Dumi's backing vocalist is gay. But it doesn't mean that I'm against it. So, but why, why are you see, pointing it out? Okay, why yeah, pointing it out? <laughs> you see, what? the reason why I'm pointing it out, yeah. and the reason why I call, uh, uh, I call it gay celebration, I think I'm, I, what I'm trying to do is to make but I don't need to judgmental, understand? Mm. And uh, for me, I, I want to break those boundaries. I want to break the walls. So people must accept how uh, there's gay people in mm -hmm. the gospel space. So that should they, should they hear how mama on your thing? Bamo batila anale le a male go go dressing room. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be shocked because uh, the, the, there's this thing go was learning where they portray to be straight men mm -hmm. and they marry. Mara linyola thing hale last. Obo because madamu o chazu hore ah man ah ah agu kwa right dila obo and uh, I know a number of male. Um, gay gospel musicians who are just not coming out because of the stigma that uh, the gospel that the Bazalani have created. Where you are not of God if you are like this. You know this is demonic. And so for me, when I point these things out, is to to make them realize where this shit is real. You can't do anything. You, you can't get rid of it. It's it's there, and it also make gay people to, you know, to be okay with who they are. If they're gay, they're gay. Oh, so you don't have a pr problem with gay no. people? No, I thought I thought you had a problem oh, with gay people. Absolutely not. Actually, most of my friends are gay. And I, it, I know your one friend is gay. So I was confused. Lately. I was like, hey, man. I know yeah, that one friend of yours, but stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, and tell me. So there's something else you said that is very important. I think we, I, 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 was, I was looking forward to this interview for you to clarify this thing according to how you understand. You're saying the band and BVs should not be paid the same. Same amount, yeah. What's your reason? My, my reason behind that is, a, is like a nurse and a doctor cannot, cannot be paid the same amount. And for mm -hmm. me, a band is, is doctors and uh, nurses giri vocalists. In a manner, I'm sorry. Just a band. Bring it home a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure I got you. So please please me, elaborate a bit. Yeah, yeah. So, I believe what a band is, like, these are people who spend time in perfecting their craft. No, creating. The music. The music. So, Eric, uh, the vocals, and when vocals come on board, yes, they, they also bring a very critical part uh, on, on, uh, in the music. Mara, how do we need? From music, how can seven minutes? 
as the vocalist did, did be now from uh, for seven minutes no no of course not of course not do you see my point so you're you're putting weight on Spanish Sabon based on on duration that they are actually singing on a record on an so mm. so it's based on the duration not the ability or the talent yeah but that's arguable <laughs> But I, I, no, I agree with okay. you. Because here's my point. Music, for music to be complete, everyone's Departments. playing a role. Ne? If in an orchestra, my job is to, at the end, play the cymbals. That completes the music. That I've added an element. There's, there's a backing vocalists help a lot of artists carry their, their music uh, across. Right. So if you're saying now they're diminished because in seven minutes they sing three minutes, then we, we really... Because getting to, getting to a point where you are a good vocal, backing vocalist mm. takes years. You cannot say, yeah, as a, as, a, as a keyboard player, you've put in more time. They put a lot of time for you to be on point. They work. Be a gigging BV. You work hard, eh? Okay, so you think doctors should be paid the same rate as assistant or nurses? I think I think the analysis is not it's not it's not, com it's not commensurate. It is. Uh, like it is no, not. not. Let me let me let me tell you what. Let me let me tell you why I'm saying it's arguable. You cannot complete a track without having the backing vocalist. You they can. play no mamela in fact in <laughs> fact <laughs> you can't listen now <laughs> okay let's listen yeah as a matter of fact you can actually release a, an instrumental full no, album but, without the vocals no but that's not what you we're can about. you can also remove uh, uh, release uh, can can and a cappella I mean, and a cappella they do it yeah they just do that the Kadab. soil but then the soil Kadab. the soil mamela <laughs> mamela <laughs> this is what i'm saying yeah mario you're speaking about lead now you're not talking about backing vocalists. Can they work on one? Mara, what the soil? Yeah, Mara, can you give me the soil? All right. No, but I'm saying it's the same thing. Give the soil. Yes. So they're all leads. I want a backing vocalist, They are all leads. Give the soil. No, but they lead at certain intervals. How did that? Oh, my way, they are backing. Mara, they are all leading, and they. It is with different songs. That it's like go to a celebration. Not they are all leading. No, they are not all leading. When somebody sings, people will back them. Look at the soil. Same happens. The fact that they are part of the group and they are part, they, they doesn't mean they are not backing at that point. So I'm saying to you, a, a doctor, you cannot compare a doctor to a nurse to, to the band and the, and the backing, the, the backing vocalist. vocalist. They all play a critical role in completing the music. Critical, critical. Yeah, it's, it's critical. As much as nurses, they do play a critical part. <laughs> 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 okay, tell me something. Uh, how much for a gig do you think a BV should get? Okay, I think before before you, Kadaf, what can we do for musicians to move away from that one thousand five hundred? Ish. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, we're, what we're going what to, to happen? <laughs> what a good one. <laughs> Um, or do you feel necessary? I think to get there's, there's no price? regulations within the industry. The no, there isn't. Yes. So I believe there should be a, a union that will represent uh, musicians yeah. or the industry. Correct. Um, Didn't they try that just a few years ago? Yeah, but yeah. It, it's wrong people who wanted money for themselves. Oh, yeah. Who had no best interest for oh, the for, for the, uh, industry was mm. for them, their mm. pockets. And I think that's where it needs to begin, where we're going to have a, a union. I mean, I've been trying to push that, but it was during lockdown, so it was not very successful. And one of the things that I want to do going forward is to pull back a bit from social media and really work on the, what really matters, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what will put it going, things into, yeah, yeah. yeah, for the next generation, mm -hmm. you know, because if we don't start, if you don't start this now, the next generation will suffer the same thing. Yeah, the same thing. Well. So I need to ask you this. So let's say you start this and you 
you're successful, but okay. Mm. Tell us, how, how much should a BD get minimum and how much should a band member get minimum? What did you what, what did you say? <laughs> Are you gonna take me back to your? Uh, as long as we don't, we're not gonna like, argue about it. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> talk to this. Yeah. So, um, currently, I mean, ten years ago, just doing twelve years ago, when I when I got into the industry, uh, and and a normal rate was for a, an hour. Set yeah. In our set, a BV was getting paid, I think, what? Well, in that production, it was around um, 5,000, and then band, me band members was like around seven, eight, depending on mm -hmm. you know what level. If you're a music director, yeah. it's, it's even more. But uh, I think right now, and I'm speaking for academics, I always go back there, because I don't want people to be to be going out there and saying, now I'm mm -hmm. charging this, and you didn't invest in your talent. You didn't even do the intro. Mm -hmm. I believe or if you're interested in something, at least do a, a, an entry course. Mm -hmm. You know, six mm -hmm. months, yeah, now, one year, yeah, mm -hmm. now. One. So that you can say, hey, guys, now study for this shit, eh? I invested in my shit, so this is how much I charge, no negotiations. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I'm speaking for people who invested in their talent or who been, you know, yeah, I've been in the industry for so many years. I think they qualify for that. But for backing vocalists right now, if I got 3,000 or 3.5 back, back in the days, I think right now for a 45 minutes um, set, so we can actually charge 20K. I mean, we are there where prices have, they have <laughs> gone up, you know? I think you must go check how much people are getting paid now. I know. They would love to get 20k. I know. Oh my I know. word. <laughs> I know. So you'd say BVs must charge 20k. Yeah. And then band member this is the drummer. Uh my, my 25 to the 7 20, And then how much does the artist charge now? So it means for the me to book Dr. Dumi I must have 300,000 rands. Yes. And it, you know why the, the, the industry right now, and I, it's a shock. And for you to even say that, it's because you are in the industry and a lot of, uh, when they at least you go sounding, ne? you can work with corporate. And when you say to corporate, co corporate world understands what a, the rates they increase on an annual mm, basis. Yeah. So, you know, petroli, mm. complain, in the beginning, matter, we get used to as time goes on. Boroto has never, uh, hasn't always been 15 rand. Nelo mm matendo -hmm. my 5 rand back in the days, but we, we adapt. Yes. But I think in the music space, there was, there's been that point where Hanka charge more than uh, 1.5. But Lokira Moto charge 700. Yeah. And Lokira Undercutting, Moto. exactly. You understand? Exactly. exactly. So because I don't any uh, regulations? I wanna in two long one. If less than a dollar, I wanna buy 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 the the um. What are you saying? Garden for we serve it the garden. You need to make it. I want. No wonder when I lay union one, I want to ever run a long for you. Can't pay them below this much. See, with but we don't have that. Music is different, you know. In the music space. In in music is different because people book book you according to how good or how you can interpret certain music. So I think a regulation will be very difficult. We can have maybe a benchmark, but... Mm. But people will always undercut. See, I think that that's what mm. she's alluding to. See, someone will say, okay, here's the standardized price of 3,000. But somebody will come back to and say, I can't do this for 1.5. It, it, yeah. it, it happens yeah. everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Even in the sound business, same thing. Exactly. They, they somebody always comes undercut you. to you, uh, you, ask a, you ask me for a quote. I send you a quote. Then you go to somebody else and say, "Can you beat this?" Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It goes down. Same. Same. Same way. But and let's so not let's not dwell a lot on that. I'm I'm glad that you actually want uh, the BVs uh, to be looked after and end well, because mm. I feel like the money BVs and, and the band are earning is, is too little. Mm. After the rehearsals and yeah. Yeah. there's a lot of work that goes into yeah. There's a lot of work that goes into it. So yeah. and. When people start standing out and saying, okay, we won't do this because there's always someone younger, yeah. someone cheaper. so yeah. Always willing to go. Yeah, yeah, willing to go. And I think as well, um, the family, they are safari. I mean, mm. these people are always on the road. Mm -hmm. 
And then when they come back home, they bring peanuts. Mm. So it doesn't. Yeah, balance. no, no, it doesn't. So a lot of uh, 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 a lot of marriages don't last uh, because it's like, what were you doing out there? You know, mm-hmm. you you spend most of your time on the road, but you come back and it doesn't. Oh, I mm. had mm. mm. yeah. an interview with Papa, please watch it. <laughs> just a quick one, uh, just to uh, chip in there. You, you have a lot of interest in um, the legal aspect of the entertainment industry. Yeah. Are you studying towards that? Do you have any, um, any degree or is it something that you're passionate about or you are working towards that in terms of being an entertainment lawyer? Be that. Is it something that you are I, when we worked on the production here, Brenda Fassi, I was doing, um, I was working on contracts. Okay. So I was, uh, I was not, I didn't design contracts, but I think that's where I learned what needs to be in a contract. Oh, and administration, what, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So I think that's where I kind of understood why contracts are very imperative. Um, it's beyond just the agreement okay. but it's your protection as well should stages are so well yeah. it's covered in the contract for your, your injuries your in in mm. are we are we is this place by by to see mm. your you by approval you know because then if it was approved by by the tick all the ticks Happens, someone needs to pay. Somebody needs to be accountable. Yes. Should an artist die because mm-hmm. of stages and words? Someone needs to pay. So, th- someone needs to answer to that. They can't say what. Ah, well, it happens. So mm-hmm. there's a lot of things that are are not considered by many people, and I think that's mm-hmm. why my pa- my passion is what I want a- an artist to know what they are fully protected when mm. they go out there and they perform what, wherever. Because for them, it's, it's about being on stage, being seen, and mm. you know, the fame. The, you, you were running a company, Le Vibe. Mm. Le Vibe Entertainment. Is that where you, uh, uh, are you a consultant? Can people come to yeah, Le Vibe basically what, what was and make sure that their contracts are in order? Uh, but there was an artist who came here, uh, Pastor Baba, and he says, when w- they are, Artists are not given that opportunity for even that contract, you know? Mm. If you're desperate enough to go into the industry, a lot of them fall short. Do you believe they're not patient enough? Or is it a matter of they're, they're, they, they're just robbed in jail? Um, I don't think it's about patience. They, they are placed in a corner. So, what mm. offer a contract what offer contract is today, but it goes on. Even just like, before you go on stage. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But Rofana in that short space of time. Mm. So they don't give you time to actually to go through it. Go or, through it or yeah. you know, get some get a second person to uh, to go through it for you so that you understand what what is it that you're signing up for. So I think it, it, it's that thing, Yahore, they just don't give you an opportunity mm. to or one but deliberately so. Yeah, yeah okay. yes. Yeah. But uh, for people that are that I'm I'm close to there's a, when you were asking about uh, the legal part, what mm-hmm. is in my interest. I mean, right now, for all the contracts that we've been doing uh, exposes for, or that we've been helping them getting what's rightful they, rightfully theirs, mm-hmm. uh, we've been asking for the contracts. But I've got a, there's a law firm that I, that is doing pro bono work for me. Oh, um, makes sense. And that's makes where, sense. yeah, that's nah, where they, they get to also teach me how to, okay, when this is, this so is that's where I learn. So- yeah. So you actually care about this industry? I, right? I, I, well, I f- care about this industry. But, but now, the way you come across, because like he, Rari is coming, she's coming <laughs> to destroy. <laughs> yeah, because this one. Like, <laughs> she wants to destroy. What's wrong with this one? But when I'm listening to you, you sound like you actually care. And then I think it, 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 it really takes me to my next point. Or suicide and depression is, is rife in this, yeah. in this industry. Ne? But don't you feel your utterances can push somebody to the edge? No, actually, I sleep with a very clear conscience because. Whoa! <laughs> Did you just say that again? <laughs> Did you hear what he was asking? <laughs> oh my way! God, I'm tired. I sleep I with a clear no, conscience. No, but I can't. Okay, no, let, let, no, it no, let it out. Let it out. Please go ahead. Um, 
people are who who get depressed and and uh, who or who go into depression. The things that I say is just it's not and and I think because I'm very much aware of what is happening in the industry. They won't. There's deeper issues. They are piling up. Yeah. So what we see, what we see, is is this tip. There's this whole <laughs> is happening underneath. But but the point is, are you not afraid that? That might be contributing. That, that one can Never. be the tipping point. You know, have, have you ever seen? And you know why? Mm? You know why? For me, when I speak about your music, there's a lot of musicians that I could spoken about uh, their music. And when I, I studied PR, when I utter your word as PR, doesn't matter whether I is a bad publicity or good publicity is PR. For the fact that I can work out I'm intentional about each and every post that I, I put out there. People who follow me, right now, I changed my name on social media. Mm. I don't have following right now. People have, I, I, I literally there, but they're not doing anything. Because I'm no longer, I'm no longer speaking about music. I'm no longer using vulgar. I'm no longer, oh, so mm. people have, now are sitting like this, because they don't like that. People are addicted to controversy. So if I want to speak about your music and I say, oh, your music, his music is so soulful, it's so beautiful, people are not going to react They're like, ah. But once I say that, I don't know who the told this person that they can sing. Now they want to buy your music to, to hear what is it that she's talking about. And that's how, <laughs> that's how people's minds are wired. So and it took me a while for me to understand what it, the music that is actually bored is the music that I say about. So I could listen to your music and say crap about it, but I want people to go and listen. And I know what to say to make people to go and listen. I don't care even if they attack me. The, the, my, my main goal is for them to go and buy your music. Mm. And if it, if it takes me saying a whole lot of me and you, we know. And I'll tell you what, bra, your music, your music, could go well and low end. So this is a strategy. So you 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 you've thought about this, but where you lose me, what's your beef with Mali? Mali? No, what's your beef with Zaza? What's your beef? No, no, no. No, I'm just. Kidding. I want. <laughs> no, with the whole industry, but yeah, but Mahalia, but also when I went to that. Okay, Mahalia, Mahalia as well has got nothing to do with his singing, but um, it's personal. It's, it's when she worked for, I think, oh, when her music started playing a lot on uh, gospel. One gospel, one gospel, yeah. One gospel. Yeah. And it was playing all the time. And for me, I was saying, I, I, I remember I wrote a post, because I, I watch all these channels, mm -hmm. I listen to music. Mm -hmm. Like, I, 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 I'm really invested mm. in a, to a point that I can see when something is being repeatedly played mm -hmm. and there's other new music that is not played but it's mm -hmm. being submitted because people will say i submitted music i'm struggling can you please help with mm -hmm. you know so i put up a status out there to say mahali i even tagged her to say can you please help others uh, to also know how to submit their music for their music to play like mm -hmm. how yours is playing and she didn't so, and for me, it's selfishness. And my, I believe in Hore, this pie is too big. Mm. Let, let's share, you know? Doesn't mm. mean Hore, because highly when I fell, I don't want to when I fell. You're only attracting a, a certain audience, mm. but you'll never attract the entire audience. Mm. Now there's music or talent that is sitting in this box, but because they're playing Mahalia, they're only attracting or one, this little pie, and then one they are missing out. Hore, actually, there's other audience that we are not reaching out so, to. So, so the thing. So for her not mm. responding, that is the issue that I have with her. So it's personal. And then I take it out on her music. <laughs> but you agree she's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's good. Like eh? up here. <laughs> uh, no, she's a she's a, a she's a a plastic version of Ntogozo's mom. 
Sure. No, she, she's actually... <laughs> I'd rather listen to Ndogozo. Like, I can't listen to Ndogozo and listen to Mahalia afterwards. If I heard Ndogozo, Kishapuka Mahalia. I don't think that. I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Just one, one, one last question. One, one hour, 30 minutes. We need to wrap it up. We need yeah. to wrap it up. Okay, one, one last question. I yeah. think this is very important. Um, I saw when lockdown started, you know, mm. a lot of artists were trying to claim funds, mm. gospel artists, mm. from, from the government. And um, you put up a very long post mm. talking about requirements, yeah. how you need to be registered. Mm. Quick one before we wrap up. We wrap up. Um, what do an artist need to do for them to be properly regulated? Which institution should they register with? What, like, Haramotu, you spoke about the artists that you're helping, Hori, Ntoza Haidi What What is it that they need to do? Just on the basics, you don't have to go into the, you know, nitty gritties. Mm. Okay, so, um, uh, as, uh, firstly, it's very easy to register a company. Mm -hmm. And I think when, if I'm a baking vocalist, already I'm a company. Because I'm, I the services that I provide, I get. Mm. So you you create your profile. That's where mm. you begin. Create a profile before you even register, register your business, because once that is being approved, now you can go and say this is who I am and this is mm. what I do. Uh, you register a company. Uh, you do your profile. Register your company, and register with a, a music organization. So mm. Your Samro, Sampra, Capasso, uh, your Risa. Mm -hmm. You know, let you, uh, because now. You're not just a baking vocalist. You also write music for other people. Mm -hmm. A lot of baking mm -hmm. vocalists actually they write music for people mm -hmm. they are baking, mm -hmm. and even outside. So there's a lot of services that you're going to provide. Provide it up, yeah. So um, I think just that as a basic, mm -hmm. you can actually run a very successful uh, brand business. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a brand already, but you can actually create. Your, that brand and make it a company, make it a new business where uh, it's, it's KG, KG production it's important to have in your bank account because now it's from hand to mouth mm -hmm. and that is why a lot of musicians are actually e yeah, yeah e mm -hmm. you know, now if you, and if you come as, a, as an individual and not as a business, they, they, they will treat you as an individual. Mm -hmm. So, regardless of what you do, but let's say we are both baking. We know at least a quote or this is my quote, this is my uh, um, contract. Let me get like a, no mind. But on far, they want to give me a plate of food and alcohol, and that's my payment. And maybe it's 150 or 150 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's how the game plays. If you don't know who you are and how you how they see what you actually know your <laughs> is when you are registered with everything. When they say what okay, uh, I mean, um, but again, COVID exposed that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of musicians actually are not. That's why we are still in such a mess. And I I, I, I actually appreciate what they did because it then it. You know, it exposed a lot of things and it, 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 it proved a lot of things that I've been talking and teaching about what it, these are a necessity. You cannot be in the business unless you're a business yourself. <laughs> Look, 100%, a lot of people, I know a lot of musicians who can't even type an invoice, you know. Yeah. It's about, yeah, no, so <laughs> yeah. And it should, it should not work like that. I, if, there's, if there's a point where I agree with you is musicians must take themselves seriously, yes. mm -hmm. yeah. invest in their craft 100%, yeah. but most importantly, run like a business, yeah. you know? Yeah. When, when they pay you, your salary get 10,000. Whether that month you made 40,000, yeah. your salary, you exactly. live, yes. you know? Yes. So it's, it's, it's very important yeah. that, that literacy really uh, 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 goes around. People need to know. But if there's one thing I need to say to you is, uh, I've seen your following, ne? If this person is hated so much, why? I've got 4,000 something people on, 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 on Facebook. I'm like, this person has to be doing something right. You know? When I, when I look down and I see, here, 
your comments yeah. i get confused myself yeah. Yeah. but I've, I've, i think i've learned one one there's a lo- there's a lot of things that i still feel like oh, ah, she was not clear there. but i think i've learned a couple of things about you today it, it's 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 actually <laughs> it's, some, some some certain things i was very surprised about i was like Really? <laughs> Does she advocate for that? Yeah. But I think generally what you advocate for is, uh, is, is, is good. But yeah. uh, look, I'm, I'm not be... sure the way you go about it. I, look, I don't understand it, so I'm not going to talk down on it. And, and the thing is, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not God, guys. I'm not God. Mm-hmm. And I'm always going to, I'm not going to be someone else to, to, uh, to fulfill the purpose that I was called for. I'm going to be me. Mm-hmm. And it, even if it's um, it's not popular, I'm still going to be me. Mm. I'm going to play this thing like me. Because once I'm not going to be me, I'm going to lose who I am. Mm. So for me, it doesn't matter how I say it, as long as what I do has impact, that's all that matters. Mm. You know? <laughs> and you can't expect me to be perfect. My, I know I'm going to heaven. And I know when I go to heaven, God is going to say, wait up. Well done. Wow. Because that is why Gaddafi. Do you understand where Gaddafi, who Gaddafi was? But what he was, what he was fighting for yeah. versus how he fought for. Mm. How he, di- he did it. Mm. But he did it. Mm. Okay. Time has left us. Any closing remarks from yourself? I think we've said a mouthful. <laughs> we've said a mouthful. Um... I guess it comes down to one thing. Um, we all want to be who we want to be. Mm. You know, um, put forth our, our opinion, have our own strides. You know, mm. it comes down to that. We we, we cannot agree on on everything. On everything, hundred yeah. percent. We we cannot. It just doesn't happen. Mm. You know, mm. I might have my own opinions about some of the things that she mm. believes in, but I can't force her to adopt mine. Of course. <laughs> yeah. And the so, other way around as well. Yeah. Definitely. So I think this this was interesting. But I think we need another hour with with Qatar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll make I'll make sure she comes back. Yeah. The last thing I want to ask you is, I think you've answered it, but I need to ask it uh, as it is. What would you like to see change in the gospel entertainment industry? What change would I like to see? Hmm. Um, I would love to see a lot of artists writing um, a better lyrical content music. Because wh- right now, what's been happening is someone will just uh, write one sentence and that will be repeated for eight minutes. And that is not, that is <laughs> that is that, that is <laughs> And we have accepted that because give us a long time to do it, you know? Uh, but it's not music, mm. it's, it's crap. It's, it's, for me, it's mm. And I don't think. I think people need to really, if they're in the music industry, yeah. they must do music. Well, if they're gonna, otherwise they must sing that music at church, and they must stop doing. If they're in the music industry, they must be so creative. It can't. They mm. must be. They must write new songs. We want new music, mm. but we but they've done their part. So this generation needs to also do their part. Do their we part. want new music. So you want new music, fresh music, proper yeah, music to be written there. Music. And then before you go, tell us what are you working on? What 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 else are you working busy on? with? Mm. So what I'm working on now, I have a YouTube channel, the attention. Um, because people have been wanting me to the talk. At tension. At tension. tension. Mm-hmm. Um, with Gaddafi, 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 and I interview upcoming artists. I get a lonely interview and the, the well known. Everybody's about well known artists. No, no, well known. Born, I can't believe it. Yeah, but no, what is it? No, we, speak, we speak to someone who's <laughs> got a story to tell. Anyone you know? who's got a story to tell, yeah, that's so, what you, you know. I speak to musicians about music. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, and these are people that I've known since I got into the industry. I've seen them grow within the industry uh, from being the backing vocalists now, they are, they, they went solo, mm. um, or their music directors. Back mm. then they were just like trying pianist or one. 
give us a go for the one within the industry, but also to create a platform for up and coming, mm -hmm. you know, even for uh, sound companies and you know the industry, the entire industry. industry. 100%. Because I want people to, and for me, this is a legacy that we are living for the next generation. 100%. Should I die today? That's what Gaddafi stood up for, you know. Mm -hmm. So I call mm -hmm. people by long I, I, these are people who are doing things the proper way. Proper way. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Wow. So that's what I'm. That's what I've been uh, working Which on. One? But also, uh, like I spoke about uh, the. Um, union is yes, one thing yes. that I still want that I'm very like for me it's one thing that I should do before I die uh, to build that union and make sure with the industry is up because I would not die in peace if that part is not done I also my biggest my my final final is to build a, an art boulevard hmm. art boulevard Talk across the well. nation like every province must have that art boulevard where all artists are, will have a platform to, you know, do their, uh, to, to, to like render that. their services. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter what art it is, either dance, fashion, whatever. Mm. So that, I, it, it's a huge, it's a huge project. I was actually, it, it was a, a vision that I was given by God in a dream. It was in August, 2018. Between and South Africa and <laughs> So, so for me, it's a God-given vision that I know I won't do it. I won't do it. Accomplish it on my own. Yeah, yeah. I need Him. I need Him to actually tell me it's what handsome. I need to do. But I'm gonna do my part. I'm gonna do what I feel I need to do right now. Mm -hmm. But I think on social media platforms, and okay, if you notice, I don't say much about music anymore. Yeah, because so my focus is now on I had to go bigger. back to find out information. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm more focused on bigger, on things that I need to do. From, 100%. Yeah, so I'm... Fortunately or unfortunately, we have to cut it here because yeah. now... Sure. But uh, Gaddafi, Gaddafi, my nephew, thank you very much for coming through. Yeah, um, thank you. I, thank I, you. I, the first time I asked her, she said no. <laughs> Second oh. time, the no was better. <laughs> until we got to here and <laughs> You know, uh, we're, we're the, we try, yeah, we're the new kid on the block. Yeah, we're still the new kid on the block. We're trying to, but we've got a sponsor already. Oh, nice. Then there's a, please follow it on, uh, Little Tolaka. Little Tolaka on Instagram. Yeah. Ne? Kitty body part. Oh, nice. Kitty, eh? Oh, nice. I don't have a safe. One side. Kitty, kitty, eh? Bad salt. Eh? Yeah. So this is uh, our sponsor said. You know what? We saw it fit that you give the females that come to the to the podcast. Uh, oh, nice. A little gift of appreciation. So thank, thank you very you. much, ma'am. Thank, thank, so thank you. Thank yeah, you for yeah, coming yeah. through. Thank, thank you so for much. coming through. Thank you. Yeah, next time how would you? Progress, progress a little bit. Yeah, sure. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much once again. Uh, we, we, we thought we were going to do an hour, but hey, yeah, no. Uh, we need to have a part two. No? We need to have a part two. Yes. Let's give it a year. No, she, she, yes. she, she, she agreed to it. She agreed, no? Yeah. So thank you very much. Please, Absolutely. please continue to support us. We see you. We see you on, uh, online talking to us. Please support us. And please don't forget the CDs. Uh, Gaddafi says she's got CDs. She buys music. So she said with her CDs we can fill them. But please, still inbox me and let's make sure we see each other again. <laughs>